and I miss my son. And I wish I can get him back, but I know I can't. Instead, now she's fighting for justice. Two EMS workers and an ambulance company are facing a lawsuit over the death of a Springfield man. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Peter Cadigan and Peggy Finley made a brief court appearance today. They've been charged with first degree murder for improperly restraining Earl Moore Jr. The coroner ruled his death a homicide. WCI 3's Theodora Kulavaris is live in our Capitol Newsroom. So Theodora, what's happened today in the courtroom? Well, Jennifer, Cadigan and Finley were in and out fairly quickly. Their lawyers say that they want a preliminary hearing, and that's going to happen tomorrow morning. But in addition to the criminal charge, they're also facing this lawsuit. My heart hurt because I ain't gonna never see my son no more. Ever. All because of those two people. The family of Earl Moore Jr. is sharing their heartache amidst their journey to find justice. Earl Moore is my uncle and I miss him and I love him so much. Last month, Moore called 911 saying there were people with guns in the house. But when Springfield police arrived, they say someone told them Moore was experiencing hallucinations from alcohol withdrawal. He had a struggle, but he was working through them for the family, for our family's sake. He deserved help and empathy. Instead, he was met with brutal restraints and deprived of the ability to breathe. That's when Peter Cadigan and Peggy Finley were called to help. Police body camera footage shows what happens next. Sit up. Sit up now. Finley can be seen in the video yelling at Moore to stand up. Earl, sit up. She didn't even know Earl, but she act like she knew him calling his name and dragging him like that. Cadigan and Finley place Moore face down on a stretcher with restraints. The Sangamon County coroner says Moore died of asphyxia. They tied him down like some kind of animal mm. and killed him. My baby suffocated mm. because of their actions and then their interaction. When you look at that video, the reason it's so shocking yes. is because they offer Earl no consideration. I mean, from the moment they get there, I mean, it's like it's a hostile encounter. Ben Crump, a nationally known lawyer who worked on the George Floyd case, is representing Moore's family in a wrongful death lawsuit. They are suing Cadigan, Finley, and Lifestar, the private ambulance company they work for. They gave him no professionalism, no humanity. Finley's lawyer doesn't believe the EMS workers committed a crime. I've never had a case that I believe uh, involves non-criminal actions uh, turned into a first-degree murder charge. But the family wants accountability for what happened to their loved one. I hope that these people are punished to the fullest extent of the law for torturing and killing my brother. The lawsuit doesn't specify how much the family is suing for, but they are seeking damages, including physical pain and suffering, mental anguish, and funeral and burial expenses. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavaris, WCIA3, your local news leader. Theodora, thank you.